guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to install the shaders mod for Minecraft PC 1.7.10. So Forge and the shaders mod have been updated to work with 1.7.10. 1.7.10 isn't in the beta or whatever anymore, so it's fully functional and there aren't any issues that I've noti noticed with at all. We're using it and everything and actually what I've noticed is that there's not as many issues as it usually has So that's actually pretty awesome. So go in the description. and You'll see two different links. You'll see a link for forge Minecraft forge and the shaders mod itself. So once you get both of those downloaded open up the forge installer hit run And then hit install client hit ok and it's going to install Forge, all the libraries, the actual version, 1.7.10 Forge version itself. Create a few folders and the different things it needs to do to get set up. And then it should pop up with that right there, meaning it has been installed. And once it's been installed, hit this program installed correctly, collect correctly if you get that error. Now hit your... Uh, Windows key and then hit R or you can go over here and type in run it'll bring up the same exact thing and then do uh, percent app data percent I hate doing it that way oops I did that way. I don't like doing it that way myself but it seems to be easier for people and you don't have to change settings and everything so I guess people just prefer it that way so just do it that way then go up to dot minecraft go into there should be a uh, folder it's not here so we got to make a folder we need to go to new folder and drop or call it mods and drop in the uh, jar file some for some reason it didn't make the mods folder itself but all I got to do is make one and it'll work all right so now and go ahead and open up minecraft And then go down here to where it says profile, click on default, and then click on forge, hit play, and then it'll load up the forge uh, file, the mods, and all that different, all that cool stuff. I did notice that too on both of my computers, so it has a screwed up loading screen, but that's fine. All right, go into options and you'll see shaders is right here. Open that up and you can adjust your settings to match, you know, what your computer can handle. So I'm just going to go open a wor up a world and uh, kind of screw around with it until I get what this computer can handle. It is a second computer on integrated graphics, so I'm not expecting much. Integrated graphics plus anything looking good it never works out. All right, so shaders is running. You can see it looks a little bit different. Nothing spectacular. Go to options, shaders, and then you can change different things here. Here's like the uh, render distance multiplier or the resolution multiplier. Change that. I think it goes. Yep, just goes up to two. So two looks better. This one goes all the way up to four. It's for shadows, and then your hand depth goes up to one. Oops. Turn on tweak block damage, and that is the highest it's going to go. So I guess it's handling it decently, I guess. Integrated graphics, I never play games on this computer, but... How the heck does that work? Anyway, I'm not even on a server right now. Screw it. If you want to actually see what your frame rate is, Click on F3, and then if you look up here in the uh, top left, you can see it says like 19 FPS, which is garbage. <laughs> this computer usually hits 60, sort of. <laughs> Decent. Yeah, so that is the shaders mod. I'm going to be going a little more... Uh, I'm going to make a few more videos on how to get more settings unlocked and different things like that. Not really unlocked, but more more settings to make shaders look a little bit better and that kind of stuff. So, yeah, just stay tuned for that. I'll be doing a little bit more modding tutorials and stuff for the PC version because 
mainly all I've been really doing for a while is Pocket Edition. And while that's not that's not bad, you know, I did want to kind of expand more to the PC version like I used to do. And this was the first video I've done in quite a while. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.